All right, y'all. Good mid-morning. It's about 9.30ish, and we getting ready to go hit the Plain 8 Fitness. Yes, let's hit the gym. And y'all, I'm loving, loving, loving this bra. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Yes. <laughs> anyway, this is that Carrie Underwood bra that I got at uh, Dick Sporting Goods. Um, I got it in black and I got it in white for those of you who have followed me. And y'all, I hit the jackpot. I went online to Dick Sporting Goods online and snatched me up a couple of things that were on sale cheaper in the cheaper online than it was even on in the store. These bras won't online though. But anyway, um, when that comes in, of course I'll share on the video. But right now, we finna get it in. I'm gonna knock out about two hours. I'm gonna work on this stomach. Yeah. Cardio and stomach today. And y'all, it's almost the new year. Hey, hey, hey. All right, y'all. Let go. Listen, especially like during on during the week. You know, you don't have no time constraints. You know, you just do what you want to do. That the, I love that freedom. I really do. I love that freedom to get up when I want, start my day when I want, do just do what I want. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about okay, preparing myself for work or anything like that and just like right now here it is 9 30 in the morning i'm headed to the gym i'll probably finish around 11 ish 11 you know 11 15 11 30 ish just depending on what time i get there in the next what 10 i'm about 10 minutes away and i got a few little errands i want to run and it just it feels really good it really does when you can just truly be on your own time schedule you ain't got people pulling on you. You ain't got people, you know, you ain't, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's one thing I like about vacation. You know, when you take vacation, sometimes you're doing so much. It's like you need a vacation from your vacation. But you know what? I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm, you know, as I get older, when I'm on vacation, the first thing people say, oh, well, where are you going? Absolutely nowhere. Now, there are some times that I'm doing me, y'all know, and we'll get on the road, and I'll take y'all with me, and we roll, and more of that to come, but sometimes throughout the year, you know, like, I've been on vacation since Christmas, and, or, you know, I've been on the, uh, vacation since that Friday before Christmas, and I go back on January the 2nd, so, like I said, what I like about being on vacation is also respecting and knowing how to use your time. Like I said, I got a few errands to run. I need to run to Lowe's or whatever and Sam's Club. But yeah, y'all, I mean, I do. I love it. And I'm like, Lord, Lord, I thank you. I'll be glad when there's a day when I can just be retired and I can just do truly do as I want to do every day, day to day. Amen to that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, anyway, y'all, until that happens, when we do take vacation or when I do take vacation, 
there's going to be a week that I don't absolutely nothing, maybe just piddle around the house. Now, I do need to do my uh, kitchen floors. I've done all the other floors, you know, I sweep and regular maintain, but I need to scrub my kitchen floors and cabinets. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. And um, my, me, my mom, and my friend, we're going to go finally see the color purple this weekend. Um, so I'm trying not to watch any reviews. I'm not. Tr I'm trying not to watch any type of feedback other than you know people. Some people say it was they enjoyed it. It was good. You know that type of thing. But I'm really trying to stay away from commentary about it because I want to be able to you know have my own thoughts about it. But anyway, it is what it is. So that's pretty much all I've got going on or coming up this weekend and um I'm probably gonna go to watch night service at church. Um I haven't done that in about two two years, two, three years, but somewhere around here because, you know, well two years we were on COVID lockdown. But anyway, so I'm going to go to watch the night service. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I haven't been doing a whole lot of filming. I've just been enjoying my time off. And just almost like reset. I've been working out. And also, some of y'all were saying that I, I, you know, was juicing to add protein and fat. Let me just say this, y'all. I'm still doing all of that. <laughs> the only thing I'm doing now is that I'm, I have incorporated, I, I have uh, put juicing back into the regimen as meal replacements or drink the juice with the meal. Um, but I'm still on my grind. And again, as I've always told you all, anytime you do any type of weight loss, uh, lifestyle, exercise, you know, you need to be checking with your daughter. And I just want y'all to know, I appreciate the, uh, you know, the ideas. Like, the idea about the pulp, using that as, as vegetable juice, uh, vegetable stock. That was a great idea. Or some people said, use the pulp in smoothies or whatever. Great idea. Now, that type of stuff, that's, that was great. Never even thought of that. But anyway, so, matter of fact, I'm going to make me some soup today. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, making me some uh, soup and uh, finding me a movie on um, uh, Netflix. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know that the importance um, and I don't say this to be funny, but you know, I have to go by what my cardiologist, I, for those of you who have been following me for the past two years on my weight loss health journey, I'm under a doctor's care, y'all. <laughs> I, I mean, I have uh, three daughters that I go to regularly ever since I've had those stints put in my heart. I am a heart patient, so I have to follow my doctors uh, and my dietitian, nutritionist, all that. For those of you who have followed me, whenever I had to go to physical therapy, cardiac rehab, you know, all of that, talking about strokes, all that good stuff. Um, well, you know what I mean. Uh, I got educated how to read labels, what labels mean, what does it mean, serving side, you know. I went through all of that for what? Almost six months, y'all. Yeah, January, and I graduated, what, in like the end part of May. I graduated from that program. So, just so you all know, and I really, I really want to emphasize this with you all. Please, please, please consult your daughter when you're doing any of this kind of stuff. Because, like I said, I know the fruits and vegetables that I am approved to eat based on, again, what's going on in my body, my blood work, and my lifestyle. Like, like I said, now... My lifestyle consists of, I exercise, so I'm burning sugars, I'm burning salt, 
because I'm exercising, I'm sweating, I'm, I'm burning. So when I eat or juice fruits and vegetables, people say, oh, all that sugar. Well, your body processes natural sugar differently than it does that white sugar or sacralose some fructose and corn syrup. It's, you know, your body does something with it. But again, I've done the work. I've done the work. I've gone to the classes. I've gone and sat and taken the education with PhDs, masters, uh, people who have masters in physical therapy and clinical nutrition and dietitians. These people are at the hospital on staff and three days a week after I would go to the physical cardiac part, we went to class. And again, for those of you who followed me, I showed little snippets of that. We would have class after each physical therapy portion we go into the and get that book knowledge what kind of oils to eat you know again as heart patients see when we go on the internet they're giving you a generalization of the food pyramid and so and i want you all to know this you have to do the work find out what's going on with your body get your blood work done because honey people who think they're skinny you know because you're skinny and you look like the specimen of health honey baby People are dropping dead from heart attacks because of what they're consuming. They think everything is fine because of what they look like on the outside. But baby honey, let me tell you, it's, it's that blood work. It's that blood work that you have to be looking at and figure out what's going on with your with inside your body. So, uh, you know, thank God for Miss Gluten Free over here. Uh, perhaps some of her stuff may be beneficial but i'm going with what i know is beneficial and i know what my doctor told me i hope y'all understand what i'm saying so miss gluten-free honey you honey you can watch her you can do all i get on here to do is just to motivate you all to move and also to check and see what's going on with you and get with your healthcare professionals and let and let them tell you exactly what it is um like I said, I love my insurance company because Blue Cross Blue Shield, honey, I, a nurse calls me once a month. It's just part of having having um having uh them as my insurance company, and that kind of stuff is is probably available to you. You just have to find out what's all available. But uh, they they pretty much call me once a month since I am a heart patient, and they used to do it prior to that. But I would just avoid them. But now, guess what? Because I pay that premium every payroll deduction. <laughs> you better bet your bottom dollar when they do call me. Oh, yeah, I'll ask them certain questions. The, these nurses and these people and, and dietitians that they have on st staff to just call you. So, I mean, like I said, you know, I'm doing and get, gaining that knowledge. So, like I said, I ain't trying to be ugly, but baby, honey, go for it, Miss Gluten Free. I don't have problem with gluten you know what i'm saying i have other issues like lact i mean lactose intolerance so i try to stay away from dairy as much as possible can i have some dairy yeah but i may have, i've already made the small changes and i continue to make changes along the way as well but yeah i continue to make small changes um that are beneficial but just like you know when you see me juicing and I am using certain fruits and vegetables, that's because those are the fruits and vegetables that my doctor said, okay, you can have these. And for instance, me, I'm low, uh, I'm, I have a low iron deficient, I'm iron deficient. So I have to eat certain vegetables that carry, and fruits that carry a high level of iron. Or I have to eat certain meat proteins with a high level of iron or I have to take uh I have to take an iron pill so the fact that if I'm eating if you see me juicing a lot more fruit is because I have to replenish because my hemoglobin is already low because of again things that are going on with my body and my menstrual cycle and all that so like I said it, it's very important that you know your body because like I said my doctors are not looking at the blood work of miss gluten free over here that like to eat, you know, that that is on on, on she, based on 
his or her body, what's going on with them, they have to stay away from certain things. Whereas for me, I'm fine. I can eat that. Or I can ha or I need that because my I have a deficiency there. And so when people say, well, oh, you know, you you shouldn't juice all that sweet. No, that that that's that might be applicable to you, maybe because that's what's going on in your body. But because of me, what's going on in my body, and I might have a deficiency somewhere that ain't none of your business, or if I'm just sharing and I just happen to tell you. People will start, start, say, oh, you shouldn't do... No, 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 don't tell me. And don't tell other people what they should and should not do. Unless you are a licensed or a PhD, you know, a medical doctor, and you have looked at that person's medical chart or blood work to tell them what they need or don't need. Because I'm going to tell y'all, my claim global was so low at one point last year to where... um I thought I was going to have to have a blood transfusion. But again, it's because of what's going on with my cycle. It's why that's that way. So again, I have to eat certain fruits and I have to eat certain vegetables that help level out the, that, that, that hemoglobin and that iron so I don't pass out somewhere. I mean, so, you know, like I said, so again... I'm a type of person, when you don't know a person's situation, be silent. Just be silent. And, and even though I know people want to be helpful, but I also want to, uh, you know, I also want to just put it out there too. Please, please, people, find out what's going on in your own. If, if, I, if I can't tell you anything that you need to listen to me about, please find out what's going on in your body. In your body, in your blood work, having certain tests done so you can see. Don't ignore signs of fatigue or or your back hurting and all that kind of stuff. Don't ignore stuff like that. Don't don't chuck it off with oh I'm just you know it's you know I'm you know I'm I'm the mom I got to do this I got three children I, I you know and uh -uh, I'm telling you we women overlook so many things. And like I said, when you go out here on this internet or, or you go and watch Mr. or Mrs. Gluten Free and you following them, and, and if you are drawn to their way of doing things and it works for you, wonderful. I get on here so that people dig into, okay, find out what is best and what's most helpful for you. And that's going to sometimes come along with you actually going to a professional i.e. your daughter and say okay listen let me get a physical done let me get my a1c's done let me get all of these things done so i can see where i'm at and what perhaps i need to wake work on and so again if i can't emphasize that enough because like i said i've done the work a lot of times we want other people to do the work for us and just tell us and we just go out. But no, learn how to read labels. Learn what it means about serving size. Learn what it means where you don't have to get the complete serving size. You can cut it in half and you can watch your carbs and watch your calories in that way. We sometimes think we have to overly saturate our salads with dressing. And if you look at some dressings, man, some of them dressings, two tablespoons or a tablespoon of certain dresses is almost 100 to 200 calories. And you figure some, some people like to use almost a half a cup of dressing on there. And you look and, and you got, and when you look at it, look at the serving size, you think, my God, we ain't even counting the salad. But you'll have 600 calories in just dressing. Or, you know, you, you're eating. And you don't realize that certain sauces and marinades are full of carbohydrates. See, that that's the type of stuff that your body stores. But like natural sugars uh, from raw fruits and vegetables, your body burns that right on up. It's not going to store that kind of sh sugar, for, you know, and you gain weight from that. And like I said, those are the things I had to learn. And, you know, certain fats. Oh, oh, oh I got to stay away from that. Uh -uh. As a heart patient, I, certain fats, omega-3s and stuff like Certain fats 
are necessary and needed for your heart. That's why you. That's why I. You. I, I don't buy anything but olive oil now, because I have to stay away from any type of fat that, if at room temperature it gets solid, that's not good for your heart. So you know, olive oil or avocado oil, and you know, I was I was even an advocate in using coconut. Oil. Mm -mm. If you look at coconut, it's a, it, when it go when it's room temperature, it's solid and white. Well, that's what it does in your body, in your veins. And so I had to learn all that when I went to cardiac rehab. So again, knowledge is truly power. And there's nothing wrong with getting inspired and being encouraged by people who are telling you information, just like with me. But ultimately, go to your doctor, find out what fruits and vegetables work for you. Just like me, I no longer can eat ruby red grapefruit. I love ruby red grapefruit. Can't eat it anymore as a heart patient. Can't have it anymore because it affects your blood pressure. <laughs> and so, like I said, I'm down to taking two medicines, well, really three, iron pill. And I'm all, and I'm taking an aspirin today, and I'm taking uh, blood pressure medicine. I don't know. I may have to be on blood pressure medicine for the rest of my life because again, I have a heart patient, and I have two stents in my heart, which affects. So again, so what I have to do, I have to do some type of cardio every day to keep that muscle, that heart muscle, exercise and keep it at a certain rate. So anyway, I did want to just come on there and say that. So y'all, let's go on and get it going on. Oh, I, I forgot my headphones, but you know what? I got my plug in. Dog. I sure did. I forgot my headphones, but that's all right. I'll put these in. Dog. I forgot. I like to wear my covers so I don't have to hear all that gym noise. Anyway, all right, y'all, let's go get this workout in, knock it on out in about two hours, and then we'll go and do some other little things around town. <laughs> y'all what a beautiful day it's beautiful out here all right y'all i'm in lowe's i was jaw jacking the mom so i've already got my two lights that i need to get and how about i find out the difference between a spotlight and a flood light a flood light oh you know what i need to get a a spotlight just puts the light on that spot, but the floodlight uh, illuminates a, a bigger area. So let me go back. I need to get the floodlight. Okay, that's what I need right there, the floodlight. So that's what I got. 
I'm glad I looked at that. I, I picked up the wrong. And you know what it is? That these two were side by side, and I was looking at the light color. See, I wish they had the floodlight in that illumination. Whereas this is like a warm, a warm white. I just wanted to do regular daylight in the floodlight, but I guess I have to get what they have. I mean, it's not that serious, but it could be, I guess. Wait a minute, they got them up here. They got this pecan. Outdoor floodlight. You know what? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get these just a little bit more, but the illumination is brighter. And it's in the daylight. The daylight moon. Brightness, rather. Oh, you can switch from warm white to daylight. Oh, so you can uh, you can adjust it. I like that option. So when I get it home, I can see whether I want it in daylight mode or white mode. Which one looks better at night like it so let me get them that's 24 and that's by GE so I'm gonna get them yep outdoor floodlight you just have to keep looking don't we y'all we have to keep looking till we find it mm, y'all they even got one in color honey they got different colors honey fancy fancy huh Y'all, I love this brand. This is some excellent stuff to clean and shine my floors. Love this stuff. I need to get some more. Okay. Ooh, this, this is going up, y'all, but that's the one I get. That's really good. And they got this spray option down here for everyday use. I might get some of that, too. But I'm definitely getting that. Oh, wow, y'all. They've got these Swiffer wood wet mopping cloths. <gasps> I need to get these. I, I normally get just the regular ones. <gasps> but they got these new. Well, it's not new, but I mean, they got these wood. Why didn't I never see these before? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some of these because this is what I use like on the every other day basis. I use a Swiffer and I put the regular uh, ones on it and just you know mop up the floor that way. But I'm getting ready to scrub my wood floors. But I just need some, I just need to get some of these for every every other day use. Because what I do is I use a regular one. And I'll spray that Zeep everyday floor cleaner on the floor. But I'm actually want to try, I want to try this brand. Because you know I miss Matchy Matchy. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to get some of these here. Y'all know how they say you clean up your house real good before the new year come in? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to snatch these up, y'all. Walk me out and tell me. Walk me out and tell me. <laughs> All right, y'all, I am so glad I came over here in this aisle and remembered to get some of that floor cleaner because, y'all, I need some more stove cleaner. The cooktop. I need some more of this stuff. Um, oh, this one's got the little scrubber in it. This is like what comes with the stove when you buy it. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna get that. Cause I definitely need that. See y'all, this is what I currently use for everyday. Um, no, that's carpet, but it's by that brand. I use that for flooring cleaning every day, but in the 
flooring um, brand or formula. That's for carpet. Like I said, I'm going to go to this for everyday spray on use with the Swiffer. And of course, this is for the polish when I get ready to scrub my floors. So look, I'm getting all of this. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to do these things when you come to Lowe's. Going to get what you need right now. Okay, let's see what comes in this kit. This kit is $11.48. A cleaner and polish, a cooktop scrubbing tool and pad, and a cooktop scraper. So it comes with all of that for eleven forty-eight. Hmm. But they have this big bottle of the cleaner. Could I just buy me one of those green things? Cause that's all it is. And you get this big bottle for $8.98. You just don't get the scraper. Hmm. Y'all know I'm doing the math. Save three bucks. Y'all, that's all that red thing is. It's one of them green things. It's like 99 cent. It's just red. And then, it, of course, it has a little fancy handle. And you get a scraper. You know what? I'm just going to get the kit. I mean, that way I have it. And then I'll, and I'll have a scraper. I'm just going to get the kit. What y'all know about Brad Paisley? He longs for those little moments. I'm telling y'all. I swear y'all. I promise y'all. The desire of my heart. Y'all I won't smell a cowboy or a cowman. Let me say that different. Let me. I want me a cowman. I want me a good old southern country man. I really do. I love a good old southern country man. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Ain't that what Oprah said in Color Purple? I do. All right, y'all. Let's get on in here to Harris Tight Trunk. All right, y'all, I'm coming in here to get some uh, bean sprouts because this is about the only place you can find that kind of stuff and a cheesecloth so I can boil my pulp in there to make my vegetable stock. And I might get some sushi. That what, that might what I'll be eating for lunch. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Ooh, look at that y'all but we definitely don't need none of that not while we're doing good on our diet all right let me go on over here and look for the bean sprouts you know Harris Teeter has the best looking produce but well, baby you gonna pay for it too honey but you know when I guess the next time I go get some more fruit and vegetables I'm gonna come in here They have a bigger variety and a bigger selection. And you know what? It is what it is. You're gonna pay for, pay for it. But it's mission bean sprouts right now. You know what, y'all? I think I'm gonna get some of these sliced mushrooms to put in that soup. I love mushrooms. They don't sell for $179. Hmm, y'all, I've never seen that before. Sweet kale. Huh. It's got all those different things in it. Interesting. Now look at all the different salad kits they have. Enchilada Caesars. Pesto. Lemon Caesar. Steakhouse Wedge. Never seen these varieties. Hmm. Interesting. Got dill pickle chop kit. Ew. 
chipotle cheddar have y'all seen all of the different varieties of the salad express kits wow who knew all of that existed i knew about the asian and the southwestern but i have never seen these other ones they got the french bistro sunflower crisp oh now y'all i'm all about this because this is like healthy stuff they got a poppy seed one up there. Wow, y'all. Thousand Island. Ooh, it's making me want to get one. Uh, it's making me want to try one. Uh, ooh. Uh, Okay, y'all, I'm going to try this because it's on sale. It expires in three days, and it's $2 off. It's maple, maple bourbon bacon chop kit. And it's um, the serving size is one cup. And see, with this, you can get three servings out of this one bag. Y'all see that? So... The calories is 150. And then here's the nutrition. So like I said, you can eat a cup of this. And I'm telling you, it's a lot because it's chopped. And this is good. And in, 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 um, add you a half of a chicken breast on the side with this. So I will eat on this for the next three days. That's a good deal. This would be like three bucks. Yes, honey, yes. That's what I'm having for dinner tonight. Yes, honey, yes. I'm going to get some of these sweet onions. They're $1.49 a pound. That's a good buy. And I can never have too many sweet onions. Y'all, these are some pretty onions. I like my Vidalia onions to look like this. I don't like them too big. It seems like these smaller ones, they to me, they taste sweeter. I love the, these medium size. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, they don't have bean sprouts in here either. I should have just went to the Asian market. That's where I can find them, for sure. Y'all, I'm going to get these uh, sweet, mm -hmm, these sweet tomatoes. They got them on sale. For a dollar and I'm putting them right in the soup I'm making today see see how you do I'm gonna cream it up and it's gonna be like a cream like a tomato soup I'm putting it right in there in that soup I'm making because uh the rest of the everything else is gone honey good deal and they look pretty good they look pretty decent too all right y'all getting a five dollar sushi today brown rice california roll 260 calories five dollars honey i forgot the date fridays are five dollar sushi days on select sushi at harris tito they got all kinds of course are you freaking kidding me? This Veep, y'all, y'all know this is what I buy or either Dukes. Look at that in here in Harris Street, 849 for, and this is their medium size. No ma'am, uh, no ma'am. See certain things you just have to go on and get it from Walmart. No, ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. Y'all, I'm going to try these. Some cucumber halves with um, 
sour, uh, what's it called, cream cheese mixed in with everything but the bagel seasoning. That's a great snack too. I gotta remind myself to get some cream cheese. <laughs> All right, y'all, I need to get some eggs. Not bad, $2.59 for a dozen. Okay, I'm gonna get the fat free because zero fat and the calories, are, these calories are 30, the regular calories is 90 for a serving size. And you see a serving size is two tablespoons and the carbohydrates is under five. So yeah, we're getting the fat free one. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna get some um, orange juice. Not from Concentrate. All right, y'all. Let's get some milk. All right, y'all. I think that is it. I don't need anything else over here. I think I'm good to go. And uh, we can go and check out. All right, y'all. Not bad. All that. 50 bucks. All right, y'all. Let's get on to the hacienda. I've been out of... I've been out for about four or five, no, about five hours today. Time to get to the house. Oh, y'all, it's a little nippy out here. Ooh. I mean, it's a little nippy. Yes. It says 58. Uh-uh, it feel colder than 58, y'all. But anyway, y'all, I'm not really hungry. Um, Like I said, I worked out really, really good. Really, really, really good. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to just eat that sushi and um a cup of that salad and that should do me for the day um and then tomorrow i'm gonna get up and cook the soup and then like like i said we're going to the movies tomorrow uh late afternoon we're gonna go to the four o'clock show so um i can get up i'm gonna clean up straighten up you know clean up the house do my floors with the stuff i got <laughs> Ooh. Oh, excuse me. And um get beautimus. Oh, you know, decent looking to go get to the movie, you know. And um that's it. So I'm going home. It is almost three o'clock. And um I would like I said I would have swung by well, I don't know if I said it or not, but I called and talked to mama a little bit and a friend and another friend of mine while I was shot in between shopping but mama is uh she's you know she's out in them streets you know she's doing things and taking folk to work and all manner of things i'm gonna tell you i tell lord thank you for my mom honey folks call her from all over our city and needing help for this and needing help for that so she's doing her 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 community stuff that she like to do um but anyway, I'm going to get back on to the house. And then, of course, for New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, that eve later on that evening, um, we'll, we'll, uh, the family will get over there to Mama's house and do our thing over there. But um, other than that, y'all, that's it. And that's all. I may end this video right here or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I may just end the video here, or I'll just show you a little snippet of, you know, my my plate. But I am cu I'm curious to taste that bourbon, that maple bourbon uh, salad. Yeah, I'll show y'all a picture or outro of that. Y'all y'all know how y'all like to do. Y'all know how we like to do over here with the peacemakers. We like to see stuff so we can be at peace because we want to know what time you ate. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get to the house. Deanna, that's why I love you. They have the cheesecloth at Dollar General. Yes. Yes. All right, y'all. I had to swing by the Dollar General because I was talking to my friend. She said, check Dollar General. They might have the cheesecloth so I can do my soup and I ain't got to wait for my Amazon order. <laughs> Dollar General sells cheesecloths, y'all. 
Yes. Yes, y'all. Yes. So I got two of them. And uh, while I was in there, you know, they had, um, they, I don't need some cute tea towels, kitchen towels. And y'all know I'm changing up my, uh, my decor in my house, you know, for spring. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to go with the floor, a very floor look. And I thought these are perfect. So I got two of these. See, I'm glad I'm going and getting them now because they'll be gone. And now, aren't those pretty? So I got two sets of those. And I thought, uh, yeah, like them, like them a lot. And I thought about, I'm going to see how one of them looks in the bathroom. You know, I might just throw this up there. Even though they're kitchen towels, they can be hand towels. And y'all understand. So anyway, I was like, ooh, let me go on and get them from Dollar Gentro. All right, y'all, let's get to the house. Alright y'all, here is the salad, here is the ingredients, the dressing, and you can see all the ingredients in here. So now here's the cup. There's the cup. Here's my little salad bowl. And I like this chopped meat. This one has romaine lettuce, broccoli, broccoli stalk, red and savory cabbage, green onion, carrots, uncured, smoky bacon, golden honey, almonds with maple bourbon vinaigrette. And I'm just reading off the bag what this is. And here are the little smoky bacon pieces. So I'm not going to use all of this because this is supposed to be for three servings. Okay. So yeah. Plus I'm going to have my sushi. So the sushi is 260. And then my salad is 150. So right at 400. Uh, calories a little bit over 400 calories and then of course the other stuff but I'm telling you y'all that's not bad for a and like I said this is what I'll eat for the day um, outside of you know I drank my lemon water and I drank some juice earlier first before I went to go work out I drank an eight ounce of the juice and so of course that has calories and everything in it but yeah, so yeah. Anyway, that is what is for my meal for today. And this will hold me over. y'all that is excellent that salad dressing yeah yeah so that's gonna be my new favorite one yeah 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 that maple bourbon oh yeah yeah my new favorite i thought i liked the asian kick but this one does it. I just had to come back on to let y'all know. If you got a Harris Teeter, try this salad. That maple bourbon salad in that salad kit. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 